Hey everybody, Greg here, and today is Saturday, August 26th, and this is a short video about the Apple Watch and uh, the waterproof feature that it has. So, when I first started using my Apple Watch, now this is the second generation watch, uh, I didn't buy in early on, I waited for a couple of years before getting one, um, and the, so the second generation does have the waterproof feature. Good morning. So um, I went ahead and you know wanted to use that feature because I might be riding my bike in the rain or running in the rain or whatever. Um, and I, I noticed that you actually have to turn it on. And I thought, well, that's weird. I mean, you, you would think there's like gaskets and it's sealed. You'd think it would either be waterproof or not waterproof. How can you turn on waterproof, you know? Um, now, some of the promotional videos and informational videos about the watch explain that when you go out of waterproof mode, that the speaker actually um, vibrates in a way that pumps water out of the speaker enclosure in the watch. So that makes sense. Um, that if you've been swimming with the watch on or whatever and you have water in that speaker cavity, that space there, you would want to get that water out of there. Um, but I still wasn't quite sure, you know, like why then do you have to turn it on? Well, <clears throat> I pretty soon realized when I had just testing this feature, I thought, well, I'm going to um, try taking a shower with the watch on. And um, I noticed that as the water drops would hit the face of the watch, they would, uh, essentially it was like touching the watch face. So they would cause it to go into a different menu or whatever. Um, so basically that's it, that, that when water hits the face of the watch, uh, the, the watch interprets that as somebody touching the screen. And uh, the same is actually true, can be true, uh, with the iPhone and with other touch devices. Um, they can be sensitive to water on the surface. So anyway, uh, basically right now it's drizzling a little bit here on my bike ride this morning. And I want to have my watch um, tracking my route, you know, the GPS and excuse me, checking my pulse and all that. So uh, anyway, here I'll show you how that feature works. And even in this mode where you're, you know, in a workout mode using the watch, basically what you want to do is slide the display to the right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that here. I'll slide the display to the right and I get this option that is the waterproof mode, but it's, it says lock. So once I go into the lock mode, you'll see a water droplet in the top of the display there. And so that is essentially telling you that it's now, the, the watch face will no longer respond to raindrops or touch or anything. And the, the way to get out of that mode, um, when you go to touch the screen, it says turn the digital crown to unlock. Then you turn the crown. And it unlocks. So that's that's basically basically it. But uh, because uh, that particular feature, I couldn't find a place where that was explained well. I thought I'd create a short video about it and mention that that is one of the uh, nice features about the Apple Watch is that it does have the waterproof feature and you can wear it in the rain or while swimming or whatever. So, hey, thanks for watching this video and I hope you have a great day. Take care.